Parsha, we're introduced to Avram Avinu, and we're introduced to him with the tzivoy of Lech Lecha, to leave his homeland and to travel to Eretz Yisrael. And the question that one can ask, and indeed the Ramban asks, is why is this the introduction to Avram? We know that Avram had already done heroic things in the past. Avram risked his life to be thrown into the fires of Urkastim in order to be Makadeh Shem Shamayim. Why isn't that the introduction to Avram in the Torah? We know that Avram went on a philosophic quest to uncover and ultimately find that God exists. Why isn't that the introduction to Avram in the Torah? Why is it specifically Lech Lecha? And it could be that there are reasons about each of those earlier events that we don't want to highlight. Maybe the Orkastim story, we don't want the introduction to Judaism to be about throwing yourself into a fire about sacrificing your life. Indeed, if you are called upon, you must. But that's not the introduction to Judaism. Maybe in terms of Avram's philosophic quest, we don't want to suggest that every person needs to start from scratch and to uncover the existence of God unaided. No, we value Mesorah. We value our tradition. And maybe presenting Avram as the one who started from nothing and and found God on his own, that's also not the introduction that we want. But I think that there's also something very unique about Lech Lecha. And it's based on what the Sfas Emes says. And the Sfas Emes explains, certainly not based on Pshat, but the Sfas Emes suggests that maybe Lech Lecha is highlighted in Avraham's life specifically not because of his previous experiences. Meaning, we look at it traditionally that Avraham displayed heroism in Orkastim. Avram went on this philosophic quest. And because of this, Hashem plucked Avram out of Mesopotamia and commanded him to go to Eretz Yisrael. But says the Sfas Emes, no. Lech Lecha was a commandment to everyone in Avram's generation. What was unique about Avram was that he heard the call of Lech Lecha. It wasn't that he was plucked out and Hashem commanded him specifically. No, everyone heard or everyone was given a call to live a deeper existence, to leave the community, the idol-ridden community of Mesopotamia, and to go live a deeper, more spiritual existence in Eretz Yisrael. But only Avram heard the call, and only Avraham responded to the call. And therefore, we don't want Avram to be looked at a unique individual who was plucked out of Mesopotamia, but we want Avram to be presented as the person who heard the call and responded. The same call that others heard. And that has, I think, tremendous significance for our lives. Because the Torah and the messages of the Torah call out to all of us. And we're all faced with the challenge of, do we listen? Or because of all of the the din, all of the sounds around us, so we're unable to focus on the call, and we certainly don't have the resolve always to answer the call. And therefore, we are to look to Avram Avinu. Avram, like the others of his generation, faced challenges, and it probably, in a certain sense, would have been easier to ignore the call. And the Torah is telling all of us that Hashem is constantly calling out to us to daven with more kavana, to act, to do acts of more chesed, to increase our dedication to Talmud Torah. And the question is going to be, who will follow the example? You don't need to be a person who throws themselves into the fire. You don't need to be the philosophic genius who uncovers the proof of God on his own. No. Every person, even without this glorious past, is beckoned to answer the call of Lech Lecha. And Amir Tzashem, we should be able to look to Avraham and be inspired. Lech Lecha. Let us do something for ourselves, something that will make our existence deeper and make our religious lives more meaningful.